I systematically tested the new Apple Watch sleep score and I made a few important discoveries. Now I also compared that sleep score to the sleep score of the Aura Ring and the Whoop Strap and I will show you comparison graphs later in this video. Now this was very interesting but I was still left with a few questions. But let's start with what I discovered. First of all, you don't need an Apple Watch to get Apple's sleep score. Any smartwatch or other device that tracks sleep stages and syncs them to Apple Health seems to result in a sleep score. So even if you use a Garmin, a Huawei watch or another device that is able to sync those sleep stages to Apple Health, you will get a sleep score. Now, of course, if the sleep tracking of the device is really bad, the sleep score will be less reliable. However, still it's good to know that you don't need an Apple Watch to get Apple sleep score. Another thing I discovered is that I got sleep scores even for all my past nights as well, going back many years. So it appears to be even retrospectively calculated, which is actually pretty cool if you would like to analyze your old data. But how is this sleep score calculated? Well, your sleep score can go up to 100 and is a combination of three things. First of all, you get zero to 50 points for your total sleep duration. And this includes getting enough deep sleep and REM sleep. So for getting the maximum 50 points for this part, a total sleep time is not enough. You also need enough deep sleep and REM sleep. Second, you can get up to 30 points for your bedtime. So basically, if you went to bed around the time that you normally go to bed, at least it's how I interpret it based on everything I read and the last 20 points reflect the total number of times you woke up and the total time you spent awake. So that makes a maximum of 100 points total. So that's how it works. But how does this compare to the sleep score from the two most popular sleep trackers out there, the Aura Ring and the Whoop Strap? Well, let's take a look. I have data for 32 nights where I made sure that the Apple Watch sleep score was based just on data from the Apple Watch, so just the sleep stages from the Apple Watch, which for me most of the time was this Apple Watch Ultra 2. And here we have those sleep scores over time for the Apple Watch in black, the Aura Ring in pink, blue, and the Whoop Strap in green. By the way, for those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Rob and I'm a postdoctoral scientist specializing in biological data analysis. Now, looking at the graph right here, we can see that at least the extremes mostly tend to agree. For instance, the lower scores most of the time agree, though the whoop tends to deviate a little bit more. But also right here, my lowest score was also a low score for all devices. However, interestingly, this night, for instance, doesn't agree so well between the whoop strap, which actually showed an increase in score, whereas Apple and Aura showed a decrease. But let's actually calculate direct correlations because that will tell us even more. And the correlations between those sleep scores are shown in these three plots. So on the left, we compare the Apple Watch to the Aura Ring, and in the middle, the Apple Watch to the Whoop Strap, and then on the right, the Aura Ring to the Whoop Strap. And we then calculate what is basically called the Pearson correlation, where we wanna see how well do the sleep scores of the Apple Watch agree with the Aura Ring, the Whoop Strap, and even how do the Aura Ring and the Whoop Strap agree with each other? And we actually see the biggest correlation between the Apple Watch and the Aura Ring at 0.67. Now for this, we have 32 measurements. Actually for the Whoop Strap, three nights were missing. So we only have 29 when comparing them. But we see that at least the very low scores and the very high scores tend to agree between the Apple Watch and the Aura Ring. If we compare the Apple Watch to the Whoop Strap, we still see that in most cases they agree. But for instance, here we have two outliers where the Whoop still gave a high score and the Apple Watch gave a low score. And I suspect these are potentially nights where I had a really good heart rate variability. So a high heart rate variability, maybe low resting heart rate, and the Whoop strap takes this into account. Whereas the Apple Watch just looks at the total time of sleep and those sleep stages. So that's a different approach that those take. And we see something similar if we calculate the sleep scores between the Aura Ring and the Whoop strap. They just don't perfectly agree with one another. However, I hope to create a bigger data set even so we can get even better comparisons between these. But I think the results are already pretty striking. You do get quite different calculations in terms of sleep scores from the Aura Ring, the Apple Watch and the Whoop Strap. And the Whoop Strap appears to be the most different in their approach or at least gives most different values. Before I forget to mention, all these results were obtained with a public beta of iOS and watchOS. So there could be changes in the future, but these are the results as I have them now. So that was really interesting, but it does leave me with a few questions. 
The first is, how does this sleep score handle multiple inputs? What if, for instance, you wear a Garmin watch and an Apple watch? Does it then prioritize the Apple watch? What happens in those cases? I have no idea yet. Or what if you wear two non-Apple devices like a Garmin and a Huawei? Well, this is something I'll have to ask Apple and I'll let you know as soon as they tell me. But based on what I see now, I think there are two major things to conclude here. The first is that the quality of the sleep staging actually matters. So if your watch cannot reliably track deep sleep or REM sleep, you're not going to get a reliable sleep score, at least not the way that Apple intended it. As we say in data science, garbage in, garbage out. Luckily, the Apple Watch is one of the best sleep stage trackers out there. Let me quickly show you the testing that I did, but also testing from scientific papers. And let's start with the testing that I did over many years by now, where we use different reference devices. Now, these are all EEG or PSG reference devices. So all of them measure brain waves, eye movements and other things. And then we compare different watches to them. Now, I won't explain all the details. You can check out some other videos for that. But basically, the better the agreement of a watch with the reference, the more to the top right they are. And you can see all the Apple watches that I tested are all the way to the top right. So they are really some of the best performers. We have the Apple Watch Series 9, the Apple Watch Series 10, the Apple Watch Ultra 2, the Apple Watch Ultra 1. All of them are amongst those best devices. So they're doing really well. And there's only three brands that do about the same. Those are the Eight Sleep Pod, my favorite sleep improvement device. It's really expensive, but it actually cools and heats each side of the bed. So it's not a wearable, it actually goes around your mattress. It's one of my favorite devices out there, but very expensive. If you want the best discount possible, use my affiliate link below. Um, there's also the Aura Ring, which does really well. And finally, we have the Nukua or Sleep 2 app. And these are the only four brands that do super well in my testing. But they don't just do well in my testing. Some of them were also tested in scientific literature. So let's take a look at that. And those results are right here. So these are all data taken from scientific papers. Now, some of them were partially paid for by the brand themselves. So take them with a grain of salt. But the overall patterns match very well. The new Aura Ring algorithm is very good. The Apple Watch does really well. And the Whoop Strap and Fitbit devices are sort of second tier. Though Google is soon releasing a new sleep tracking algorithm for Fitbit and Google. So stay tuned for those results. And if you look at other devices like Garmin and Polar, they really don't do that well. And if you're wondering what these gray ones are, these are tracked for people with a sleep disorder, which is likely why all devices didn't do so well. So with an Apple Watch, at least based on my testing and some scientific studies, you will more likely get reliable sleep stages, but less so for some other brands. And this means that the watch brand you use really does matter. And that brings me to my second remark. But before doing that, I run this YouTube channel next to my full-time job as a scientist and it's not cheap. I've bought all my Apple watches myself and I have about a dozen or even more at the moment. And of course, I also have to pay my editor Alex. I edited this video myself, but most of them are edited by him. If you want to financially support the channel, the most direct way of doing that is by becoming a YouTube member, which is basically like Patreon on YouTube and you will get early access to many of my videos. Another way of supporting is by using one of the affiliate links in the description below. If you buy a specific device for many of them, you get the best discount possible. Or if you buy anything at all on Amazon for that matter, if you first click my link, I get a small kickback and it doesn't cost you any extra. You can even bookmark it if you like. I think it's command or control D. But of course, only if you want to. And even subscribing, liking and commenting already really helps. But back to my second remark that I wanted to make. That's about switching between devices. If you switch between them, one night you sleep with one, one night with the other, you may see big differences in your sleep score that actually don't reflect a change in sleep quality. I saw, for instance, that when I quickly went through the data, the sleep score based on Garmin data seemed to give little deep or REM sleep, which provided me with a lower sleep score, even though I slept enough and probably also of sufficient quality. So I wouldn't compare Apple sleep scores if the data comes from different sources, so different brands. And as we saw, the sleep scores that are natively calculated by other brands like Aura and Whoop are quite different from the Apple sleep score. Part of the reason will be that Aura and Whoop potentially also take other parameters into account like your heart rate variability, your resting heart rate, and maybe even the sleep of previous nights. And none of this is done by Apple. Now, if you do end up buying an Apple Watch, an Aura Ring, a Whoop Strap, an HD Pod, or anything at all on Amazon for that matter, please consider using one of my affiliate links below, many of which give you the best discount possible. 
And I think you will like this video on the new Apple Watches or this video on the HLEAP pod.